This is an answer key for the 24 questions on our test, and you can go to uh, the minute. Um, minute 6 is going to have problem 6, minute 12 is going to have problem 12, so if you're looking for a particular question, just fast forward to that minute. I'm using up some of this first minute on the first one, so let's get to it. Also, I'm going to give you a suggestion for some problems that you can put into your booklet if you missed that question. So here's problem number one. We're in the first minute. And um, so I'm actually going to take a little bit more time. So I'm going to be starting to talk about this at minute one. Um, and then I'm going to start talking about question two at minute two and so forth. So in about 15 seconds, we'll start talking about this. And then we'll try to keep on on the minute so you can just fast forward to any problem that you're working on. So here is problem number one. It was a negative plus a negative, and that's even more negative. So we're going to just combine a 12 and 13, 12 and 1 to get 13. So that's 13 negatives. So this is a negative plus a negative, remember, is even more negative. So that's negative. This is negative. The answer is going to be even more negative. We combine them together. So if you want to do some problems that are kind of like that, you want to add these to your booklet. Um, you could try this problem, or let's get another uh, example for you. You could maybe change this to a negative 15 and change this to a negative 23 and try that. Um, and you could make up some problems just like that in your booklet. A negative plus a negative is even more negative. Um, if you missed problem number one, let's add that into your booklet. Okay, we are on to, uh, in five seconds, question number two. So question number two was putting three numbers together. So I put the positive numbers together, the one and the 11, because when we add, we can go in any order. So I put one plus 11, that's 12. And then I had to find the difference between 12 and three, which is nine. There's more positive than negative. So this has a positive, uh, nine. So here are some examples that you can try here. Let's change this negative here to a negative 14 and maybe change that to a seven. So you can try that one and we'll make up some that are like that. You can add the two positives together, find the difference between the positives and the negatives and uh, decide which has more positive or negative. All right. And I'm just going to get set up here for three. So question number three, question three is a, has more negative than positive. I'm going to find the difference between seven and five. So I'm just going to do seven, I'm sorry, seven and two. See, I got the answer there already is five. And there is more negative. So that's equal to negative five. Don't think we need to probably make a lot more examples like that, um, but if you needed to, you could. Um, let's see. Let's copy this and get some more examples. Um, let's have let's have more positive on this next example. So let's make that a twelve, and you can put that in your booklet. Um, or we could do. Whoops. Let's do another one. And. Let's maybe make that a 22 and a 17. All right, on to question number four. So if you missed four, you're probably looking at this one. And this one is a negative. Oops. This is negative. Oops, that's not working very well. Oh, I see. No. Okay, so I'll just underline negative, negative. But what we can do with this is we can add the opposite. So I'm going to add, we'll just do, I'm going to write it right here. Sorry for my handwriting. Negative 8 plus the opposite of negative 8 is 8. So we combine these two together, and that's a 0. So all we have left over is the negative 5. So this was negative 8 minus a negative 8. Make one up like that and try it and check it with me. Um, 
All right, on to problem number five. This one is a seven. Let's see if I can write on this one. Nope. Okay, seven plus the opposite of this negative six is six. And then minus seven. So seven plus six, that's 13. 13 minus seven is six. That's how we got six on that one. If you want to make one up that's like that for your booklet, let's try this and we'll just change this to a 17, 16, and a 5. I want you to try that and you can bring it up and check with me to see if you've got that one right. Okay, we're on to question number 6 in just a few seconds. So this is a negative one-third plus the opposite of two-thirds. Okay, so these have the same denominator, so we can just combine the numerator. So we're thinking negative one plus a negative two, and that's equal to negative three. So then we put it over the denominator, negative three-thirds and that's equal to negative one. So if you want to make up one like that, uh, maybe it will look something like this. Let's just copy it, paste it down here, and let's change this to a two thirds and a one third. Let's change it around that way, and let's change this to fifths, like that. And then you can try putting that in your booklet. Okay, on to problem number seven. Problem number seven, we needed a common denominator. So we're going to multiply three times two and four times two. Sorry about my handwriting here. I don't have my pen. So this is six eighths. And that's positive. Combine with one eighth plus one eighth, but that's a negative one. So that means that we're gonna combine six plus a negative one. Six plus a negative one, we find the difference and that's five, which is more positive, so that's where we got five eighths. Let's write that. All right, and you can make up one like that and check it with me. I've got to go to the next one. This is going to be negative six. Whoops. Negative six plus the opposite of negative 20 is 20. So these now have opposite. We have negative and positive. That means that we're going to find the difference. The difference between 20 and six is 14. And there's more positive than negative, so the answer was 14. And you can make one up like that, where you have a negative minus an even bigger negative. Put it in your um, booklet and check with me to see if you are understanding that, see if you get the right answer on that one. I'm going to get down here and set up for problem number nine at the ninth minute here. This one is the same as 12 plus the opposite of 24. So we have positive, negative, we find the difference, 24 minus 12 is 12. And there's more negative than positive, so this answer was negative 12. So here, let's make make one up like this. Uh, let's copy this. And let's just change this to a 10 and this to a 34. And you can make that, put that one into your booklet or make up a few that are like that and check them with me um, to see if you're getting that. That was a negative 12 for number nine. Okay, on to Problem number 10. 
Okay, problem number 10 is the same as 5 plus the opposite of negative 5 is 5. So that's where we get 10 for that one. So um, let's make up some problems like that for you to put in your booklet. Let's do um, 15 minus a negative 15, maybe 25 minus a negative 25. Just make up some that are similar uh, in your booklet and then check them with me. Let's do a positive minus a negative, a negative and if you want to make it the same number, it's really just doubling it and you can um, see that pattern. All right, I'm going to start this one a little bit early. If you're coming to problem number 11, um, we're going to start it right now. It's going to take the whole minute because I'm going to line up 4.7 and 3.65. And I'm going to find the difference because they're different signs. And I can't take 5 from 0, so I have to borrow from that 7. 10 minus 5 is 5, 6 minus 6 is 0, and 4 minus 3 is 1. So we got 1.05 on that one, 1.05. And it's more positive than negative, so that's how we got uh, that one. So just make up a decimal that's similar to this and have the, po the positive decimal be more than the negative decimal. Um, and try one out, 1.05. All right, if you're looking for the answer on 12, uh, we had to find a common denominator, and that was 24. So 2 times 8 is 16, so that's 16 negative. 3 times 8 is 24. Many people got the denominator correct. 5 times 3 is 15. 8 times 3 is 24. So we're combining 15 and 16. We have more negative than positive. So this is equal to a negative 1 24th. So if you want to make up a problem like that with one negative fraction and one positive fraction and put that in your booklet, uh, you can do that and I'd be happy to check, check your answer for you. Okay, we're moving on to problem number 13 is 27 and 8 hundredths. And this is the same as adding the opposite, so we're just going to add these numbers together. Okay, so we're going to add 0 0.04. So when we subtract a negative, it's the same as adding the opposite of it. So 8 and 4 is 12, carry that 1, and then 15, carry that, 45.12. And I may have written down this one down, I don't have the test in front of me, um, but if I did, I'll have to just check that later, because um, that's not sounding familiar. But uh, any, in any case, if you missed 13, um, when we subtract a negative, it's the same as adding the opposite. All right, number 14. We have a positive, we have a negative, so, and we have the same denominator. So really what we're thinking is the difference between 12 and 1. So it's just thinking 12 minus 1. That's 11. So the answer was 11 thirteenths. So if you're making up a similar problem to this, uh, maybe we could, here, I'll make one up for you. Let's copy this, paste it, and let's keep the denominator. Let's change it to uh, just 3, and let's just change it to that, 2 thirds plus a negative 1 third. Okay, do that one in your booklet. Check your answer with me, and make sure that you're understanding that we have the same denominator. We just have to combine the numerators, and if they're different signs, we find the difference.
Okay, here's number 15. So if you're looking at number 15, I'm going to find the difference. So I have to put the 8.6 on the top and subtract the 7.2. That's something that maybe has not been really clear that we're going to find the difference because one is positive, one's negative. But even though this is there's more negative, we're going to ignore the signs and just find the difference. We're going to subtract. So 6 minus 2 is 4. And 8 minus 7 is 1. There is more negative. So this is equal to a negative 1.4. 1 1.4. If you want to make up one like that, then just make the ne negative decimal more than the positive decimal. And then you can check it with me. I'd be happy to check it. Okay, on to problem number 16. These are both negative, so I'm going to just combine these. So we're going to just ignore the negative just for a moment and just combine these numbers, 7.5 and 7.6. So put, bring the decimal point down. 5 and 6 is 11. 7 and 7 is 14, so that's 15.1. And then it's negative. We're combining negative with negative, so it's even more negative. So it's negative 15.1. If you want to make a problem that's simil similar to this, uh, well, I think I have time to do it before I go to the next problem. So here we go. Let's just do this. And let's keep them both negative. Change this to a 6 and make this an 8. And you can try that one. All right, on to problem Oh, there is no problem number 17, so I've got a little extra time to go get set up. Uh, maybe go back here and make a couple more problems that are like that, in case you're working on that negative decimal plus a negative decimal. Let's do another one, and let's make this negative 16.5 and negative 18.6. Combine those together. So you just ignore the negative, add them together, and make the answer negative. Okay, if you're coming to look at problem number 18, here it is. Uh, they have the same denominator, and so we're really thinking 2 plus a negative 1. Just think about the denominators. When we combine 2 and a negative 1, we find the difference, and it's 1, and it's positive because there's more positive. So this was 1 third. So we're just, this part is the numerator. And we take this answer 1 and we put it over the denominator. So 2 thirds plus a negative 1 third is the same as 2 thirds minus 1 third, which is 1 third. All right, I'm going to actually start this one a little, about 10 seconds early, problem number 19, because um, it's going to take me a little while. So 12 and one half minus two and three fourths. We need a common denominator, so that's going to be fourths. So this we can change that to two fourths. I can't take three from two, so I have to borrow from this twelve, and that becomes eleven. And I have to add four fourths. That's the same as 1. So this becomes 6 fourths. So 6 fourths minus 3 fourths. 6 minus 3 is 3. So that's the fractional part is 3 fourths. And 11 minus 2 is 9. So that answer was 9 and 3 fourths inches. All right, on to problem 
number 20. We're just going to really concentrate on 4 sixths minus 3 sixths. So look at those denominator numerators, 4 plus a negative 3. That's where we can focus. 4 plus a negative 3 is equal to 1. And so it is this fraction minus this fraction, or combined with. It's adding, but the 4 is positive, the 3 is negative, so it really kind of acts like subtraction. So that's 2 and 1 sixth. And if you want to make a problem up like that, then do a mixed number plus a fraction and make sure the denominators are the same and make sure the second number is negative. And I'd be happy to check that answer uh, if you put that in your booklet, if you make up one that's similar to that. And now I'm going to start problem number 21. This is 7 and 25 hundredths minus a negative 4 is the same as adding the opposite of negative 4, which is 4. I'm going to add the whole numbers. 7 and 4 is 11, so this is 11.25. And if you want to make up a similar problem to this, Let's do it. Let's go. Um, make that 5, 2, 6, and we'll make this a 12. And you can put that in your booklet and then come up and I'll check it for you to see if it's correct. Okay, on to problem number 22. This is the same as a negative 6.7 plus the opposite of negative 5.4. The opposite of negative 5.4 is 5.4. That means I'm going to find the difference between these two. So now I'm going to write it like this, 6.7. That's my decimal point. 6.7 minus 5.4. Seven minus four is three. Six minus five is one. There's more negative than positive. There's more negative right there. So this is a negative 1.3. Uh, if you want to make up a similar problem, do a negative decimal, subtract another negative decimal, and then determine if that answer is going to be positive or negative. All right, problem number 23 is the same as negative 8.2 that's a 2 plus the opposite of this right here the opposite of 9.81 is negative 9. Point, I'm sorry 18 9.18 so that means I'm going to combine these together so I'm just going to do 8.2 okay 8.2 plus 9.18. Wait, eights are really terrible when I don't have my pen. So 0 plus 8 is 8. 2 and 1 is 3. And then 8 and 9 is 17. So negative 17.38. And the last question I'm a little bit behind on the last question 5.3 minus 5.3 is 0 and that's not positive or negative All right and that is an answer key uh, for the test